Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturks and I'm so sorry I missed something so obvious in the last episode and it pains me. I got pointed out in the comments um, that I walked past something that was incredibly obvious and usually I would kind of ignore these comments but I was curious because the, the time was when we were up in that kind of raised village, I don't know the name of it yet, we'll have a look in a moment at the ship log. The raised village. The lift, or what I'm presuming is the lift to get to the next section. I was trying to find a way to 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 get there. I thought I had to bring the raft up because it looked a bit like the kind of raft contraption. There was literally the little dial interact thing that activates the lifts for the raft. So there was one there, and there was literally a pop up saying like press E, you know, like press E to activate, and I completely didn't notice. I think I did notice, but in my head it was thinking, well there's nothing there for it to lift, so what's the point in activating it? Instead of being curious and just pressing it regardless. So that means we have our heading. We know where we're going, we know what we need to look at, we, need to know, we know what we need to do today. And then we can hopefully try and see what other secrets we can unravel. A lot of people uh, said a lot of good things about the episode, so thank you, I love the feedback. There's been a lot of really fun reactions to my reactions. In fact, in the Discord server, people have started taking to playing a game where they take screenshots of my face at different parts of the episode and they try guess what I'm reacting to. And I think it's a real neat way of kind of interacting with the content. Thank you guys, thank you to Sergey. It's always Sergey. But without further ado, let's get back to exploring. Oh boy, as long as I don't have to go into any more caverns full of bodies today, I'll be happy. I'm still... There's something else to do in those rooms, right? It, it wouldn't tell us to go down there and have a look if there wasn't something to do. But we haven't learned how to do that yet. So we're going to have to hope, perhaps, that it's going to be in one of these extra locations. So let's have a quick look through the ship log. Now that we've got time paused, I can actually take time to do this. Um, I know you guys have been telling me all along to have done this, but uh, deal with it. Okay, so what's new? The island tower. A tower that sits atop one of the cinder isles. The upper floors can only be reached from a second entrance at the back of the tower. I found a slide reel that shows the stranger's inhabitants opening a secret passage in a round room filled with lanterns and murals. The inhabitants are shown filling into three of these rooms throughout the stranger. Yes, they are. It's funny that we don't have a reference to the fact we found a bunch of bodies. That, I feel like that would be an important addition to the island tower. Side reel that shows the strangers inhabitants analyzing the eye of the universe. Several slides have been burned and cannot be viewed. Okay. So there's a sealed vault. I found a strange vault wrapped in change and marked with three glowing symbols. A slide reel from the River Lowland showed a strange vault being closed and sealed with chains and a glowing symbol. A slide reel from the Cinder Isles showed a glowing symbol and chains appear around a strange vault. Very good. Oh, we've got the extra reels actually that we could look at. There was two reels there. How do I go to the second one? Or does it play automatically? Will you play automatically for- uh, You stay there. One of these times it's gonna do the ring gimmick and something is gonna crawl out of there. I just know it. Right, I just know- No, it's not gonna go. Can I- What's the button for it? Never mind, I'll figure it out later. Hidden Gorge! That's where we're going. A narrow gorge along the rightmost branch of the river. There are dwellings built into both cliff faces high above. There is definitely more to explore here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so. Let's go have a look. I need to, ooh, I need to. I need to mark the stranger. Otherwise I don't know how we'll get there. Okie dokie. 
up, 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 up we go. Oh boy, this is like two days in a row that I've been able to play this game and I'm hyped. I need to know more. I need to know so much more. I feel like I'm not connecting to these guys the same way I would the Nomai. And I, I think that is a purposeful decision on the part of the developers. You know, the Nomai we can read. We know their thoughts. We know their feelings. This, we know their feelings. And we do know their thoughts to an extent, but we're seeing it from a wholly different perspective. We're seeing it from a visual perspective only. And I know reading is only visual, but you know what I'm trying to say. We're kind of getting it in a different medium. It's a bit like if you got the transcripts to this, and then if you got the voice file to this video, you would get probably two very... Or maybe not the voice file. Maybe if you got the, the transcripts to this, but then you got just this footage with no me, you know, you wouldn't really get the whole picture. Which is funny, because people say pictures are worth a thousand words, and I'm they, they probably are. But I just wish I could read their stuff. I'm so miffed about Hal. I mean, I think it was a bit of a stretch to expect Hal to be able to teach us an entire new language in a day. But, you know, it is what it is, I guess. We will make do. And I love the river. You guys know I love the river. I just, like, out of... When they built this place, this must be so similar to their... Homeland, because, you know... I mean, we get to see part of their homeland, I think. Through one of the murals like it kind of looks like wetlands just like this is so they've obviously built the interior of this but the fact that they can do the water because it's difficult enough doing a centrifuge adding water into a centrifuge makes things even more weird and chaotic but this makes me feel things i know some people aren't as much of a fan of the soundtrack to this DLC as opposed to the base game. And don't get me wrong, the base game hits different. But the river makes me so happy. I can't really think of the words for it. Other than happy, just immensely happy. What is over there? How didn't I see that? Okay, so the thing that I think I missed, right? This is going to be really embarrassing if I was wrong. There we go. <gasps> I love how everything is light oriented. Like, do their eyes just light up? Do they just... I mean, it looks like they shoot laser beams out of their eyes, but... I don't know to what extent they shoot laser beams out of their eyes. We'll go to the top first. Mm, oh, do I want to, though? Just, oh my god, there's so much to see! Now, which of you... Okay, so it wasn't that one. I'm going to move all the lanterns, because I know one of you is the one I want. Okay, so it's not you. And it's not you. And it's not you. <laughs> I don't want to go down here. I really don't want to go down here. Oh. Oh. Hello, everyone. How are we doing? Okay, we're all here. We're all accounted for. I don't know if that makes me feel any better or not, but I'm glad to see you're all here. 
and well. I don't like the fact they have teeth. I think... Who's breathing? Can you not? Please. Cease the breathing. Oh, I'm getting out of here. This gives me the heebie-jeebies. Right, I know it's here. I know it's here. Mm. What were they doing? Why did they do this? Why did they... It's not like it's immensely protected. It's not like it's the inner shell of the Ash Twin project. Sorry, the light went a bit weird then. I think it was just loading, but... Aha! Oh! Okay, so there's another... There's still something weird about how they're kind of phasing. It just looks... wrong. Oh, I forgot to bring... a lantern. Well, let's be fair... I didn't have a reel, but I've got two. Okay. Got two reels to look at. This is the third one. This is where the third seal is, by the looks of it. I haven't seen any of those things. You know, the, like the, the things that they're... Oh, this is about the artifact. This will tell me how to use it. This is more important to me. I'm going to... One second... I want to know what that little thing does. Okay, so. Let's go and have a look. What was I saying? I was the same thing. Yeah, those little kind of totem things that they use to seal that vault thing. Not seen them. Don't know where they are. Right. Movie time. So this must be after... After the discovery of the eye, I'm guessing. Why can't they go home? Are they sleeping? Or are they dead? He's still breathing. He's sleeping. Do I have to sleep with it? Is that why I can doze off? What does that... Why? 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 Thank you. Why? Oh, uh, no. Come on. If this does the ring, I am going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. Stay... Oh, God. So, again, why... Why? Why, 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 why? Why seal everything? What are you sealing? I, I really want to do this, but I also want to keep exploring where we are now. But I... F uh, I feel like I need to know. I feel like I need to know.
All right. Oh, you can, you are kidding me. It's a light. <laughs> Why? Oh my god. Why? They went home? They dreaming of home? What? This is different. This is where the totems are. What did they do? They did some- they did something. Okay, that's really cool. These guys have... some level... of power over physics. That blows my- I was starting to get worried that when you guys were saying, oh, there's like 10 to 15 episodes worth of content here in the DLC, and I was thinking, no, there isn't that much on The Stranger, but if this is... There's a whole other stranger that's even stranger. Where is everyone? Where do I want to know? I'm genuinely lost for words. This is not what I was expecting. Okay, so I, I, I'm thinking now this is less horror movie and more that this is actually a tool. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. I just, I saw the instruments and now I feel... They were obviously running... From the eye, they were running from whatever it is they saw. And this seems peaceful. It seems so peaceful. I'm also bricking it. I also feel like I'm going to maybe discover why you why you guys were telling me there would be a jump scare No, thank you. I don't know what that was. I don't know who it was. I don't think I want to know. Is that the water in like the real world? 
Why did someone scream? I am in defense mode right now. I am scared. Oh boy. Am I okay? Me? Right. Hear me out. But that sounded to me like the water in the real world, in the waking world. I did not ask your opinion. Whoever that was. I have never been so scared in all my life. Do I need to extinguish this? Right. Ah, no, right, okay, so. My theory, my theory currently. This thing is built to make me think I should be scared because it's like a light. I need a good light. I have a bad light. I have a hiding light. I'm going to go out on a whim and be big brave boy and think that maybe I don't need to actually be scared. To actually... Shh, actually be scared. And that this is in fact more of a tool. Right? It's a tool. There's going to be times where... There's definitely something in here with me. There's definitely something in here with me. No, big brave boy. Stick with your theory. It's not so much for hiding. It's going to more be for interacting with light in some way. Right? That's got to be it. Why is that a big hand? Oh, door opened. I don't know if that actually is a door opening. Or if perhaps it is just the world creaking. Thank you, Outer Wilds, for scaring the bejesus out of me. I don't know. I thought it was doing a... Should I be scared of them? I, I don't know why I feel like I should be scared of them. They have families. They can't... They can't be cruel, surely. Surely not. Surely this should be exciting. Why am I not excited? There's another species to interact with. I've found them. Them. How do I get down there? I don't think I want to get down there particularly. 
gonna be completely honest. And why? I think I do need to be scared. I think I really do need to be scared. I want to go home! This is turning into some Sly Bandicoot! Sly Bandicoot? Sly Cooper? Jesus Christ! This... I'm intruding in their home, of course they're going to be upset with me. Do they need to feel the need to be patrolling? You know? What are they patrolling for? Also, I'm really sorry because I know some of you guys mentioned in previous stuff that some of the episodes were starting to get dark, literally. I, there's not much I can do about this one. so well. There's so much to see. There's more to see in there. There's a whole other world to see. to see. Look how does this place exist? I... I don't even know what to feel. I'm... I feel like I know nothing again. I... Uh, <laughs> I have no words. There's so much more to see in this dream place. But there's also so much to see in the waking world, so much to do, and I feel like... I feel like next time we need to explore the waking world a bit more. I, I, it's... I don't feel ready. Oh my god, the quantum moon just disappeared because we blinked. That's awesome. I don't feel ready to commit to the dream world. I I don't. I I'm scared of it. Like that was a different kind of fear. Like the, the angler fish is a kind of fear of something right in front of you, you know, there is a monster there, it's survival. 
they've managed to make that dream space scary in a dream way. That's the best way for me to describe it. You know when you're having a nightmare? It's a different kind of fear. It's not that cold dread that you feel when you're being haunted by an anglerfish. It's different. It's darker. It's warmer. That's how it felt. It was a different kind of fear. It was that kind of fear of being seen. But not because I think these guys are inherently hostile. Everything in my game theory back, you know, like every bit of game theory I've ever learned playing video games is telling me if those things see me, I am in trouble. And I don't know how much trouble that's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be that I'm going to be vanquished to the waking world or like surely I can't die in a dream. But I'm also not willing to test that theory yet. I do want to explore more of that hidden village, like the hidden whatever, I can't remember the name of the place now. The place with the elevators. I want to explore the rest of that first. And then, when I'm feeling a bit braver, we can explore this, the dream world version. And now we know we can do that at all three of these locations, and for me that's really exciting. And we can do that at the vault as well. And I don't know how to feel about that one. But for now though guys, that's all I have time for. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, I have been Sturks. You've been incredible. And I will catch you all later for the next part of this little adventure.